Okay. Are we live? We are live. Oh my gosh. Hello everyone. I am Courtney here at Makers Gonna Learn. This is probably the first time you've seen me on a live, maybe ever by myself. Yeah. So I am very excited to be here and craft with you today on this lovely Wednesday. Now let me tell you a little backstory on how this live came to be. We had canceled the live for today because we had a film day. The film day wrapped up early. I was like, well, what are we going to do about the live today? And not to, earlier today, I would, had just finished. Not okay. I won't even say finished because I'm not like fully done testing, but I made <laughs> a successful glitter flow tumbler. And so I pretty much jokingly said to Tanner that I should make it on a live today, but he took it totally serious. And here we are. If you need proof of that, I'm missing one whole <laughs> fingernail, so this is, I definitely did not plan on doing this when I left home today. <laughs> all right. Anyway, this yeah. tumbler is super, super cute. You all are going to love it. This yes. is so if hot on TikTok it, right now. Uh, should we go to the overhead? Yeah, we can. Really quick? Okay. Look at the movement. Oh, I love it so much. It's super so fun. fun, yeah. They are called glitter flow tumblers, and sometimes they're called snow globe tumblers. So either way, this one maybe it will go be the glitter flow one, but the next one is going to be more snowy. So maybe that one we'll call our snow globe tumbler. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Are you guys excited to see how we Let's made see. this? They're just happy to see you. I don't even know that they care about the project <laughs> at this point. Okay. Well, maybe we won't make it. <laughs> so funny. Oh goodness. Okay, should we go over our supplies? Let's talk about start? supplies, okay. yeah. First, the most important supply is gonna be the tumbler. Do we wanna do this on the overhead? Yeah, let's do it on the overhead okay. again. This is the beautiful box that came in on Amazon. And this is in the supply list. I got six tumblers, and to be honest, I don't even remember how much they were. I have bought a couple other ones that I have to show you. And so far, these are the only ones that I've been able to get work. There, there actually is one that I still want to test that I haven't even gotten to try yet. So we will have another uh, pre-recorded video telling you all of the things. But today we just wanted to show you what we've come up with. And so we're going to need those tumblers. You're going to need a drill with a drill bit. This is a 5 16th drill bit. I also have a smaller drill bit. And we'll see if I can see what size it is does it say on the bottom nine ninety oh okay three sixteenths sixteen upside down looks like ninety one three sixteenths i'm gonna drill with the smaller one and then drill with the bigger one so we don't crack it let's see glitter this is the glitter that i use and this is the glitter that i'm going to use on this one these are both chunky mix, which I have found has worked the best, is the pre-mixed chunky kind, which I'm going to be going and ordering more of this because we need it in more colors here. So why does the fine not work really well? I will show you okay. in, in a, a minute. Tumbler, Perfect. But it's very clumpy, so. Perfect. And then, okay, so the inside mixture is a mixture of glycerin and water. And I have this squeeze bottle that I have uh, mixed them in. We also got like syringes and stuff that you could do this with, but the squeeze bottle is so much easier. One, it's less less mess and less waste because you just pour your glycerin in here, pour the water, shake it, and pour right from here where before I was using plastic cups and stirring them with popsicle sticks and stuff like that. Um, and then I can save this for the other project. The, other, the cups that I was using didn't have a lid, so then after I would test it, I would just throw it away. So this has been great. And then you'll also need a, a funnel. I, I linked ones that looked super similar. I didn't actually get this on Amazon. I got it at a general store here in, not in town, but in Sevierville. Um, I saw it and I was like, I need that for crafting. So I got it. And then I just have these reverse tweezers that I'm going to mix the glitter in, but just something to push in the funnel will be fine. You could use a weeding tool or anything like that. I've got some alcohol and a paper towel and then vinyl 
If you can't tell what we're making, it's going to be a snowman. Um, not Halloween, although it could be mistaken for Halloween at this time of year. And I think those are all the supplies besides your general Cricut supplies, like burnishing tools and weeding stuff. Why don't I go ahead and show you some of my fails, what we're trying to avoid today. This was the first one, and it made me want to quit trying. I mean, <laughs> if you can see this, it is just... It looks like glue that just has glitter in it. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't move at all. It's completely stuck. This wasn't a chunky mix. I had chunky and fine glitter, and I thought I could pour the fine glitter in first and then follow it with chunky glitter, and it all just got stuck. I think... Even if I use, I haven't done the fine glitter alone or first in this kind of cup, but I think that the cup might also be the problem because the walls, it feels, it looks and feels like the walls are really close together and there's not much room for the glitter and stuff to move in this exact cup. But I've seen on TikTok that people are giving out this link for them. So I'm not really sure. We're gonna keep playing around with that. But so far I've had a lot of luck with this cup that's linked in the description. I think I forgot a supply, hold on. We're gonna need some UV resin and a UV resin light. I didn't, I didn't get to that in my supplies. I'm also gonna need a piece of tape that I don't have on my table, but we'll get, we'll get it when we need it. Okay, so we've got our fails. This one is the chunky mix, the same one that I had success with this, which is kind of what makes me think that it was the cup because this, it flows a little, but I think the glitter is just stuck at certain parts that it won't, like the liquid will move around it, but the glitter is still stuck. So that's a bit confusing. And then I made one other one that I used the same cup. This is the first one I made this morning, actually yesterday, I think. And it's working, it does move, but I used so much glitter that you can't even see it. So you can hear it move and shake and it looks kind of cool. I mean, if this is the look you're going for, by all means fill it with glitter. But this was definitely more of the look where the glitter like completely moves around and you can see the glycerin part too. So this is the look I was going for. This I wouldn't really consider a total fail, just not what I was going for. So there you go. And I'll give you the amount of glitter and stuff that I used for this one. Becca just brought me some tape. Is that the guy that you wanted? Yes, okay. perfect. All right, so those are kind of my three fails that I had, and I hope to, we'll go over them more in the tutorial uh, of what like I did sort of different than these ones, um, and hopefully in the video coming up in the, probably next month, um, it'll come out. We'll go over even more tumblers and the options that you have and what we found that works And I really do hope to report back on this exact brand and how I was able to get it to work so. Court, we have a great question before you move on uh, Miss Brittany asks if she gets the membership does she still need to pay for design space? Ooh, okay, so there was an update about this today, but the answer is no design space is free to use for any Cricut or non-Cricut member, you can go in there and design even if you don't have a Cricut. Um, but there is Cricut Access, which is probably what you're getting confused about that you might pay for. That is Cricut Files that you uh, that Cricut offers you to use and it comes with fonts and stuff that's already in Design Space. And our membership is totally different from that, but can be used with Design Space alone. So you don't have to pay for Cricut Design Space if you have Makers Gonna Live. Great question. We love that. Yes. If you have any other questions about Cricut or this project in general, let me know and I will get to them. Nikki says, I just joined three days ago and so far glad I did. Amazing. Um, all this talk about membership really quickly. We want to extend the offer to you. We yeah. are offering our trial membership right now for $1. So grab that link that is either pinned up top or that I've just shared with you all. You can see what Maker's Gonna Learn is about. Um, you get 20 free cut files with that uh, and then you can again sign in to the account yep. see the courses that are available um, and, and different things that are available we have so many people who purchase the trial membership and then almost immediately go ahead and upgrade because they yeah, love it so much most of them but if you don't want to be in that uh, you know world you just want some files you can do that too yeah absolutely yeah 
Um, but I'm pretty sure you'll love it. And those files can also be fonts. You can get 20 fonts if you are all about the fonts. Yes. All right. I'm going to get started, and while I'm doing it, we can still talk and um, answer questions and stuff. Perfect. So we're going to go to the overhead camera. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's do that. We have lots of friends who say that they are scared of drills here. Courtney, oh, should they be no. scared of this project with a drill? No. The worst that can happen is that you crack your tumbler, which I don't even think if you go slow, if you're afraid, you'll probably go slower than you norm than I would when I'm not afraid. So exactly. So let's do a little drill tutorial. I will even show you how to change out your drill bit because I didn't know this when I first got started with the drill. So you will uh, open this Lucy, lefty Lucy, righty tighty, get it kind of around the size of your drill bit, put it in there and then keep tightening it. Then you can just tighten it. And there's not actually like a clicking, like you're all locked in and just when it feels tight and you can't move it anymore. And then there's these buttons on the side here. When it's in the center, it won't do anything. When it's uh, pushed into the right, it will turn to the left. And when you push it into the left, it'll turn to the right. So turning to the right is what will drill a hole for you. And here is our cup. Now, I actually, in these two cups, drilled in different spots. And I liked when I did it, I'm actually gonna do different than where I did it on both here. This one I did pretty close to the edge and this one I did in the middle. I'm gonna go basically in the middle of where I did those two. So that way you're not too close to the edge but your glitter can fall down the edge easier. So I'm just on here, push some pressure so it doesn't move and just drill slowly through there. And you can kind of Go in sections like that, and what I'm going to do is move my drill bit off and clean it off because if you get through, all of that stuff will go inside, which actually for this color wouldn't be bad at all because it's going to be the same color that we're doing. So we're just drilling through here. Okay. There we go. And you, I hit the bottom, but I didn't drill through it, so all good. And then I'm going to switch out my drill bit because, I mean, you don't have to do a bigger hole, but it's going to be really helpful because that way I can use my funnel. And it's really hard to get the glitter through this uh, smaller hole. So switching out that drill bit, and then I'm just centering it on there again, and we'll drill through my bigger hole. I might have cracked through this one. Hold on, let me show you. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I didn't. I didn't. I can't feel it on the inside. Hold on. You want to see it again? I'm going to do it. Do the whole way. thing again. Yeah. 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 That, this is a better angle anyway, so they can see what you're doing oh, really? better. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Well, we'll do it again. And I don't, I'm not sure if uh, that one will hold liquid, but I'll try. Yeah. And another thing to note, once you drill through this, it's not insulated anymore. So there could be some like uh, water that comes out. You know when you have like a regular cup, the water driblets come out. Like condensation. Condensation, yeah. yeah. So this one I'm just doing with the big drill bit. I don't think it'll be a problem. I kind of forgot to switch them out. with less pressure so it's taking longer that's but I think absolutely fine that's that's what I would do as well yeah. okay we're getting there good Go through? Yeah. It went Amazing. Through and it I feel like that hit. was easier. Yeah, it didn't hit the other one. So maybe that is easier. It didn't crack or anything. So, all right. Definitely the less pressure. If you're putting all your pressure once you break through that first one, you'll hit the second one. So, all right. And then 
here's what I did in my squirt bottle. I filled this up one third of the way with glycerin, other two thirds with water. And this is how much, I'm trying to see, you wanna use the front facing sure. camera so you can show this. This is how much I used for one tumbler. I think I could get three tumblers out of this. And then if you add more glitter, then you can get even more tumblers out of it. So I, on the other one, this most successful one, I added a little bit of this mixture to the bottom. And once it got all the way around, I stopped. And then I grabbed my funnel. And I'm going to use this glitter. I actually kind of want to clean this off. I don't know how I would clean it here, so. You mean to rinse it off? It'll be okay. Okay. If there's a little pink in our snowman, that's okay. All right, but yeah, I would rinse out your funnel. And this funnel fits perfect right in this bowl. She's not using water at all, actually. She's using glycerin. glycerin Great question. Glycerin and water. Uh, oh, one, is it together? I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. One third glycerin, two thirds water. I just got the water out of the fridge. I don't think it matters. Temperature or anything like that. Uh, yeah. Just water. And then you can see here I'm using this to mix this and get it down that hole. Because it doesn't go on its own. You, maybe a tapping motion combined with mixing is what I found to get it through. Kind of just feed it through that hole. And as you can see, I'm kind of tapping it to the side so that it goes down. And you actually don't need that much glitter. So this is kind of the hardest part, I would say, but it goes pretty fast. So, And this is going to be such a cute Christmas gift. Even the non-Christmassy one, you could totally give as a Christmas gift that they can use all year round. Our foster kids drink so much milk and we're always running out of little milk cups. So I'm gonna let them use, make some snowman ones for Christmas time. My mom got them Halloween cups when she was here and they love them. They think it's like the best thing ever to That's drink adorable. a Halloween cup, so. All right, I think on this one, I did three or four funnel, not, not full, but three or four mostly filled funnels to get to that level, so. But I'm gonna do it kind of visually on this one, and then we'll, I'll let you know how many funnels I decided on this one. You really do have to mix it, and tap it, and mix it, and tap it. Are there any questions I could answer while I'm doing this? Um, I think we've answered all of them so far, but if you have any questions that you haven't asked, go ahead and ask those. Uh, Rocky Tops, yes, so our original live that we had scheduled for today, we ended up having to cancel it, and then um, we wound up filming, like wrapping up filming early, and so Courtney half joked about doing this because we, she had just finished it this morning. I was so happy. Yes, and Tanner was like, yeah, that's a fantastic idea. <laughs> So this was sort of last minute, but we're super excited to do it. Um, how much would you sell these tumblers for? That's a great oh question. Oh goodness, I didn't, haven't done any research on this. Uh, definitely look at how much all of the supplies cost to figure that out and how long it takes you. But I would even, like, so this is the part that I think you don't need to just figure out like once you master the craft how long it takes because you need to be paid for all of that testing and stuff too at somehow I think so add a little bit to it I think because these are really like super unique too I don't think that there's a ton of people selling them and how custom and unique they are I think you could get more than you might yeah think. so the general rule of thumb we like to say is that you um, take into consideration all of the supplies, uh, like Courtney said, um, decide what hourly wage that you want to pay yourself and how long it takes, and then add all of that up. Also, because it is a custom item, you can charge more. Like, ha I don't know if your shop has a, a, a flat rate for customization. I know some people will do like five or ten dollars for a custom item. So just add it all up that way. Yeah, and you can add custom glitter colors mm -hmm. if they want glitter mixes or something like that. That would be cool. There's so many kinds of glitter out there. But 
You can make these look so many different ways. And Beck and I were talking. She gave me the idea because our foster son might not be into a glitter tumbler. Although this snowman one, I think, who doesn't love snowman? Right. I think he'll like it. But we were just talking, and I think I'm going to try to make a lava lamp sort of uh, one like this without glitter with some kind of oil base. I don't know. I still haven't figured it all out, but I think it would be really cool. And he's super into dinosaurs, so I could put some, like, dinosaur file on it or something like that. Actually, we have a lot of dinosaur files coming out in the next couple of months. Do we? Yes. Lots of them. I, um, we had some, oh, we actually had a lot of requests. One of you is very persistent in your requests, and I think every couple of weeks would put the same request on the board. <laughs> which included dinosaurs so i definitely got some dinosaurs and we're gonna make skylar's i don't know if i'm supposed to say his name whatever we're gonna make our uh, foster son's room dinosaur themed when we get to the new house so i needed some cut files for that so and our foster daughter loves cats and horses um and all things girly lol dolls she wants an lol doll themed room but I haven't, I have broke it to her that that will not be happening because that's not that cute. So, okay, now I have added some more glitter and I might just, if I need any more glitter, it will just be a little bit. I'm going to fill it up with some more glycerin. I do think I need some more glitter here. Although there's a lot sitting at the bottom. I think I'm going to do one more funnel, which I think would bring us to four funnels of glitter. Ooh, this one has some more fine glitter in it too, so maybe it'll go through here faster. Alright. Why can you not add the, gl the glitter to the glycerin and water and then pour it in? You know, Becca has asked if it has told me to try that, and I just haven't yet. But I don't know that it would help go through the funnel. I was going to say, will the chunky glitter yeah. go through that still? Like the yeah. end of the bottle even. Oh, it would. I don't know. You could cut the, you can cut this to be bigger. I mean, I'm open to try it if you guys want to here. Try it with the one that's cracked. <laughs> and see if it leaks out everywhere. I mean, well, I, but you could, I don't know. Yeah. I guess that we have Maybe it's not cracked all the way. Who I know, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Yeah, we can try that then. But I do want to finish one. It's been so long since I've done live crafting. I feel a little nervous about like timing. Like Becca has to go get her kids. I'm like, oh, <laughs> glitter, go through here. But it's so fun to hang out. They're very excited about the dinosaur files. Oh, really? Yes, they are. Lots Does of. It, do all boys love dinosaurs? Not all boys. I guess not all boys. I mean, even Beckett, who's not like obsessed with dinosaurs, because I have friends whose kids know all the names of the dinosaurs, and Beckett's definitely not there, but he still yeah. likes them. So, yeah. uh, Fallon loves them. Where is the glitter from? It is one four. It's from it's Starcraft, so we get it from one four three vinyl dot com, um, and they have so many amazing color selections. We really love it. There's a lot of places that you can gl get glitter online too these days. Yeah. But here's a trick. I'm going to plug this with my finger and test it out. I left, there's room in here still. I can't decide. Can't I can't decide if it needs more glitter yeah. or what. I don't want to get to this point. Right. I think I'm going to leave it as is. Fill the rest with the glycerin. Okay. I've decided. Because I really do love the look when there's lots of extra liquid in there. Okay, so you want to fill it up as much as possible to the very brim. So I'm getting slower because I don't want it to spill out, but I definitely want to fill it up as much as possible. I love this question. How, how do we go about suggestions for cut files? So there is a post pinned to the top of our private Facebook group that says leave your cut file suggestions here or something like that and then you can comment on it. We will see it. In fact, that one's been there a while. We may need to start a new one. Yeah, I think 
Maybe we'll let this one go for the rest of the year. Okay, and, and then start a new one in January. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so now I'm flipping it over, trying to get any air bubbles out, make them rise to the top, and see if there's any extra room. So once it settles, I'll see if there's any extra room at the top here. And I do think that there is at least another drop that I can add. And then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna get this tape ready. This is just clear packing tape. And obviously this is not going to like seal the hole, but what it will do is create a barrier between the liquid and, or the hole and the UV resin so that you, your resin doesn't just keep soaking into the water and then it won't harden. So I'm gonna do one more drop. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab my paper towel, dab this off here, try to wipe off any glitter so that the tape can get in there better. I'm gonna cut it down to a square. Those scissors are not very good. Okay. Then this clear tape, you can't even see it on the bottom at all. And then we're going to get our UV resin out. Today, actually, fun fact, was my first time ever working with UV resin, and I can see why everyone loves it so much. It is awesome. So here we go. I'm going to cover the whole bottom of the cup with a thin layer of the UV resin. So I kind of just start in the middle and swirl it out. And then I use my finger to smooth it out even more. Kevin asks, does MGL prefer 143 HTV over Cricut and has that changed over the, the years? Oh, so, <coughs> Kevin and Penny, rather. That's a great question. So, yeah, um, Tanner actually a touched on this a little bit. Here at Maker's Gonna Learn. When Tanner started with Maker's Gonna Learn, he had only used Cricut, so he pushed Cricut. That's all he knew. It worked really well for mm -hmm. him. Um, he did like it. However, he started trying some other things and um, decided that, I mean, he, he tried several different ones. I mean, he's, yeah. he's tried Paper Studio. He's tried the dollar mm -hmm. store stuff and uh, that's just regular vinyl. Um, and yes, we do prefer the 143 options over Cricut. Uh, we, it, the price is better? So much better. A significantly lot. better but even if it weren't the way that it cuts and the way that it weeds and the way that it transfers is just uh, like to be blunt so much better yeah definitely so now Courtney is using a UV light yes. um, that's the beauty of UV resin so regular resin uh, has six to eight hours of cure time you couldn't um, do that on a lot mm -mm, no this is gonna be it's bad. a game changer right yeah isn't resin harmful? Yes, you should use proper PPE. You should use gloves and masks and all of that fun stuff. And um, we encourage you to do that as well. Um, uh, what other questions? Miss Connie is here. Miss Connie Wood says, hi, Courtney. Oh, hi, Connie. Yes. Miss um, Connie goes to our church. Yes. Fun fact. I'm holding this about two inches, and I think that it cured in about five minutes when I did it last time. Yeah, so while we're doing this, we'll go ahead and answer some fan, fun fun questions. Yeah. How many years has MGL been in business, Court? Oh, goodness. Putting you on the spot. So Before, three and a half? Yeah. Four? Let me think. It no. Because it was... Three. Three, four. Uh, I should totally know this. It was either my freshman or sophomore. Oh, yeah, four. Okay. Four, for okay. sure. Yes. Yeah. I forgot that I've been out of college for over a year. Yeah. Um, wonder if it would be cute to mix some glitter and the resin on the bottom. Oh, that could be cute. Could be cute. This one, it really does kind of look like there's resin or glitter in the resin. I don't think it would change the look too much at all. Unless you wanted to do like a different color or something for a pop on the bottom. Um, Tanner did say that we could not use UV resin on solid color silicone. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. If you do, then it will not cure. Uh, it's great for projects like this. Yes. Where there's no mold yeah. at all. Yeah, but if you're using, if you're using a colored mold, then you need to use regular resin. 
Um, I, I love, and I've done a couple of videos on it. I love UV resin for the glitter tumblers, for the resin pens, for this type of project. Um, I am not very patient. So waiting around for a regular res resin to cure is not my favorite. Yeah. Um, but while Courtney is doing this, because it is going to be a little bit of time, I do, again, if you have just jumped on to the live, I want to invite you to grab the link below if you are new to makers gonna learn don't know what we're about we love crafting around here we love cricket crafting in particular or any type of crafting that you can use a cut file um, and so our membership here at makers gonna learn while it is a huge library of cut files and fonts it also offers so much more um, our trial membership that I've just linked for you all is only a dollar and you get to it's a 30-day trial where you download 20 of your choice cut files or fonts and kind of get a taste for what makers gonna learn is about if you like this project you're going to love makers gonna learn we have so many different uh, projects tutorials for you all and we're all about giving you motivation inspiration and education to be amazing crafters yes. so try out the membership you're gonna absolutely love it hello I'm, I'm like a, I'm a very much try before you buy it kind of yes person. so I love the idea of the trial membership when we were coming out with it I'm like yes this is how I would do and especially a dollar yeah. Courtney I mean that's yeah. worth a gamble right yeah worth a gamble. and even if you don't like end up wanting it you got 20, 20 free files. yeah like it wasn't just like you were trying it out like got to get access because you can see everything you're you can pick from right before you buy anything. right so that's awesome too. but not just 20 files 20 that you actually like it's not like yeah, some random right. hodgepodge not, of files yes, that we pick for you exactly. yeah um credits for anybody. are you going to do a card making craft with me or summit event so we just actually had a summit event last weekend it was really fun um we do not have another plan yet but of course we will not before not before black friday our black friday event will also have some crafting and i don't know court do you think there'll be a card made at black friday we haven't planned the schedule so if that's what the people want, yeah if you all want a card want. i know there's two christmas cards planned for october October uh -huh. October, live, October live so that's yeah. going to be fun the pop -up one. which and Epson did you use the other day on summit we use the Epson workforce 7710 it's amazing it's a beast it's really heavy but it's worth it <laughs> uh, okay. pro tip you can use your UV nail light instead of buying one if you are someone who does their own nails yeah you absolutely can oh, guys I love it. It looks like a snowstorm. Oh, that's adorable. Here. I'm very happy with the amount of glitter that I used. I'm glad I didn't use more glitter. And I just love how long it takes the glitter to settle. But once it settles, you can see that some stays at the bottom and some stays at the top. Mm -hmm. But during it, you can it looks like it would fill the whole thing. So. Sherry says, I love my yearly membership. I didn't even question renewing it this year. And we had a question earlier that I love. Even if you choose, now our yearly membership is our, is our best value, but a lot of friends uh, want to try even monthly before they go yearly. And so she asks if you still get unlimited downloads of cut files and fonts, even with a monthly, and you do. Yes. So as many cut files and fonts as you want, you can download all of them actually. And <laughs> once you download them, they're yours to keep forever. One so. Black Friday event, I think it was, or was it our New Year's event that we figured out who had downloaded the, the most? most. Cut yes, files. yes. Our, our fun cut file hoarder. And we're like, mm -hmm. how in the world? How, how in the world? They must have a very large hard drive. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. As a tumbler maker, these cups are great alternative options for craft shows. They absolutely are hope. Absolutely. And I love that, it, speaking towards that, that all the people that have bought your tumblers already and they're like, oh, I already have your tumblers, but they come to the craft show over and over and they want something different, they can definitely buy one of these. They don't have one of these yet. Correct. So great for repeat customers to get something different from you. I'm going to move some of these out of the way. And we are going to move over to design space, Becca. If okay. You're ready for that. I am ready for that. I hope I'm ready for that. Megan, yes. Yeah, she said there are so many files, it takes weeks to download them all. <laughs> Is, do you speak from experience? I'm dying to know, Megan. Have you? Are you going to be our number one hoarder at this at this end of year? She wanted event? a trophy. Yeah. <laughs> How do you keep it from leaking back out? So Linda, she just put epoxy all over the bottom. Yeah. 
um, or not epoxy, resin, UV resin, and it has cured and now it won't leak out. Yep, and Amazing. it's smooth and it will be great on the bottom. So, we're gonna move into design space. Can I see it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. Okay, this file is pretty simple. You get what you see with this cut file. It is the snowman face, uh, snowman face, Ma snowman face SVG on Maker's Gonna Learn. And I just resized it a little bit. I think it was just like this big when I uploaded it. And I wanted it just under two and a half inches. Uh, so I think I had it about there and about two and a half inches wide. So this is what I'm going to be cutting out. This could totally be one of your free cut files if you wanted to make this project. One dollar and then you still have 19 other files that you can get. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, this is a hack because, I don't know if it's a hack, um, I am going to change the color of him to all black. That way, but I'm not going to weld it or attach it or anything. That way, when I click make it, I can put it on my mat and all on one mat and just move this carrot nose over to after the six uh, inch line and then I'll put both my pieces of vinyl on the same mat, which I need to go grab a mat. So I'm going to look at this on the screen while putting the vinyl on my mat so that I know that I have enough vinyl and then it's in the right spot. I love this hack. I think it's a hack. The other way you can do it is if you didn't change the color, which I usually do this and I don't think it's as fast, is that you can then go to the orange mat and move the carrot nose to the black mat right. or something like that. But this is easy because it's way look, it's just a couple. So she's steps. referencing design space to see where the carrot is and what is it, si at six inches? Yep, it's six inches and it's about two inches by two inches. So I'm just gonna put my vinyl right here. And then I'm going to take my true control knife and go in here and cut the vinyl like this and back down like this and then peel it back like that and then I have this here and then I'm going to fill the three inch by three inch section right here. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I craft a little bit different than everyone else here at MGL, so I'm not sure if this is how everyone else would do it, but this is how I like to do it. And there we go. Okay, so now this is ready, and I'm going to layer these on here because I've had some problems with my Cricut cutting, and I think it's because I skip steps like this that could be important. So I'm doing that. And then I'm going to go over to my Cricut and load this in We're using the fine point blade and a Cricut Maker 3, but you can obviously make this, and I forget all the new things about the Maker 3. You have to go click continue and connect to your machine before you can load it in. You also have to um, do your material materials, setting. Materials, yeah. It's so frustrating. Do you know if you guys have been using uh, more pressure on this or no? I would put more pressure. More pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're doing more pressure. Always good to know. We probably will switch out our blades soon and then we won't need to do that. So now the load, in, load your mat button is flashing. So we can click it. How do we order things from affiliate stores so that NGL gets a commission? This is the sweetest question ever. Thank you so much for thinking of that. If we share a link with you all, nine times out of 10, it is an affiliate link. Um, and if you just click on that and order those things, that is super helpful for us. It, uh, if you guys are not that familiar, excuse me, with affiliate links, um, it does give us a small percentage. It is of no cost to you all, um, yes. but we like to give that little disclaimer now and again. That's mm -hmm. very sweet. Thank you for asking mm -hmm. that. I like Courtney's method for putting the two colors of vinyl on the mat. Very efficient. Yes, Sherry, especially because nowadays I feel like it takes longer to load and measure the mat and all of that. So she, she's a time saver there. All right, here's what we're going to do. We are going to add some glitter to our squirt bottle while this is cut. Oh, I like this. Because that wasn't efficient enough. We have to do all the efficient things. Perfect. I could have used my 
Do you want to see if there's a bigger funnel on that craft table right next to us? All right, and that way I think this will flow through better into the uh, bottle here. And then we're gonna squirt it in here. I don't, I don't think it's cracked all the way through. I can't wait to try this live with you guys and see. Yeah, I think it'll flow a lot better through that one. All right, let's get it going here. Now proportions here, I'm really not sure. But if you could get your hole in your cup this big, you'd have no problem filling it up because it's just running right through. I'm gonna make push it in with that funnel. And I guess I can always add more glycerin and water if I add too much glitter here. So. I'm gonna shake this up and see what it looks like. Maybe this will be our preferred way. Maybe. Or it could be a total flop, Ooh. but at least we're testing it for you so you don't have to. Right. Okay, it's looking pretty good in there. I'm gonna get my scissors and cut this bigger. If you guys were at um, Summit on Saturday, you might know why there's yellow feathers all over the scissors. Can they see it now? It's on this third it's camera, on this yeah, one. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, that was from Anna's. Um, <laughs> Popcorn chicken costume. Popcorn chicken costume. And if you have, if you are a yearly member, you get access to our summit that happened on Saturday. And I'm pretty sure you can go back and rewatch it in the links that have been sent out to yearly members. If you haven't done that, you totally should. All right, so I am putting this in here. Oh my gosh, this might be so much better. Look. Stop it. Oh my gosh. But I think I might need more glitter. For yeah, put more glitter in it. Or maybe the glitter was at the bottom here. It's hard to tell. It is. Let me squirt. If I squirt faster, does more glitter come out? It's looking pretty good. I know. I'm going to put more glitter yeah. in here, though. Courtney, this is a game changer. <laughs> Why did I not listen it to you? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, this is faster than the first one, that's for sure. Because look, you don't have to use that teeny tiny funnel. So adorable. Where did we get these tiny funnels? They are from a general store, local ish. My favorite ish. general store. What's it called? Do you know, the one near Five Oaks in Sevierville. The one behind it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's Five Oaks. Bros. Yeah. Bros. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the cutest little store. It's, and it's next to the yummiest ice cream. If you all are ever in Pigeon Forge, uh, you have to go to Cruise Farms up there. In Knoxville, they have one in Knoxville. Yeah, too. they do. Guys, it's what, working. What do you think? I think I wish I cut two uh, snowmans out. Because <laughs> I'm going to have two snowmans here soon. Okay. It's not leaking, is it? It's No, it's not leaking. But it's getting a little clogged at the end. I'm having a hard time filling. Okay. So, I wonder if you could have had like two bottles, one with just glycerin and water, and then filled up the very last end of it with... Yeah, but it's working. Yeah. You just have to be lower okay see then a couple it globbed out for that okay with this here i'm gonna flip it up try to get some of those air bubbles to rise to the top and see if i can get a dab more in there i think i will yeah i think it would love the idea and you if you get a another bottle of gl glycerin and water at the end here to finish it off You'd be golden. Sweet. Okay. I guess I'm gonna set this one to the side and we'll finish the one that we've been <coughs> making. But I'm gonna finish that one too. All right, I'm loading this. Check out what we've got. That was really fun. I'm glad we did that on the live. Okay. Weeding tool. Court, are you gonna yeah. um, burnish first? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the front? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna burnish the front. I've been learning about burnishing this week. She's been learning how important it is. Yes. Our machines for some reason, and I don't know if everyone's experience, experiencing this. They seem different. Yes, they seem so different. I mean, we're using the exact same But I have final. to say they're better now than they were on Monday. Monday, I couldn't cut anything out of vinyl. I, to be honest, I was using glitter vinyl settings. Glitter 
Yeah, glitter vinyl settings with more pressure to cut regular vinyl on my Cricut. It was very frustrating. But. We also have discovered that Courtney tends to love tiny, intricate oh, files. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. So an intricate file at like 11 and a half inches is not quite as significantly difficult. Right. I like tiny difficult. things yeah. and details. So yes. like that um, gift card holder that Becca did on the live. Yeah, on Monday. Things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Look how well that weeded. Yeah, that welded really or weeded very well. I think this is one of the more simple designs. Even this design here. I had a whole cat face in here going. Yeah. Guys, it just didn't work out. But that's okay. You gotta learn the art of the pivot. So there's a couple ways I could do this. I could transfer the smiley face and then the nose second, or I could transfer the nose and then pick up the smiley face. But I think I'm gonna do the face first and then get the nose and put it in the middle. That way I have, I feel like I'd be able to line it up a little better. Okay, I'm gonna do taco method here. Put it down. Now I'm gonna burnish from the front here. And then I'm gonna flip it over and burnish from the back and try to get it to adhere to the paper transfer tape. And then I'm gonna peel back like this and make sure that they stay nope I'm wow okay let's pull it back the other way this way like something looks wrong here <laughs> Ooh. okay perfect yes um we have a friend who says that they have such a hard time with cricut holographic vinyl um i if you don't have a hard time with Cricut Holographic Vinyl, then you're some sort of crafting wizard. Yeah. It is not fun, so you're not alone. <laughs> I skipped a step, guys. It's not too late, though. I'm going to do it. This is a step I always skip, and Rachel would give me hardcore grief for it. You guys need to get some alcohol and clean, especially if you've touched it a lot, and yeah. because you are using glycerin, glycerin. maybe some of it got yes. on the side of it or right. something like that. Yeah. And it was running out. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm also going to look at my cup and see if there's like a noticeable seam or anything. Oh, that I this is put smart. The back. But somehow there isn't. Like I would have expected side seams or something. Mm -hmm. No, there's not any seam that I need to avoid. Here, I'm so. impressed with those tumblers. Yeah, I really am. They're really nice. I love the size. I do. I want to find one with a lid that is good for this craft, which I'm positive we will be able to do. That. I would think so too. Yeah. I have another one that I think, it from the looks of it, it looks good, but I don't want to tell you about it yet, and then you waste your money on it, so let us do it first, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. All right, is this looking good? Gonna get all these. This one is going to be so cute. I'm, oh my gosh. I want to give these to all the kids in my life for their milk. Oh, cute. Okay. Yes. Ah! It already looks like a snowman. Loving this. Okay. What way was the nose supposed to go? I think it's supposed to go this way. I'm grabbing it on my same piece of paper transfer tape. The tumblers are from Amazon. Yes, they are they linked are. below. Is there a link for the alcohol dispenser? I don't think it's here. It's not on that list. I couldn't find Give me a quick a second and I'll grab it for you. It is from Amazon too, though. They used to sell them at the dollar store, but we have a lot break. Yeah, I like these so. better, I think. Um, yep, yeah, here it is. All right, adding the nose. Oh, I don't know if I like that placement. Let's see. Oh no, it's cute. How long will the vinyl last? That's a great question. So we have friends who ask if it if it like will peel off. Um, I put vinyl names on my kids' cups for school over a year ago, and they're still going strong in the dishwasher, awesome. thrown away everywhere. And wow. I, yeah, I, okay, that was one of the things I was actually gonna ask you before. 
you've done UV resin on a tumbler. What would you think about sealing this with UV resin, the whole thing? You absolutely could do that. With their, with yeah. The, with I would just like put some electrical tape or something around the top so that okay. you had a really nice, yeah. um, smooth I think transition that would be line. awesome, especially if you're selling this and they're maybe not going to mm -hmm. uh, read the instructions that you send. Right. That could be awesome. I might actually try that. We'll do that in the video too. We'll I love it. it. All out. I can't wait for this uh, recorded video of all of the tips and tricks for these. But guys, what do you think? Is this something you would give it a try? You see the success, you see the failures. I mean, it's a little risky, but I think <laughs> if you follow the method that we shared today, you should be golden. I right? think so too. Yeah. Especially now that we've made two successful ones in a row, about to be a third one with our new hat. Sherry just Good. said, don't tell my husband, but I just ordered all the supplies I needed for these because they're so cute. I love it. I love it. Yeah. For those of you who uh, wanted the link for the cups, check the description down below. We yeah. did link all of this for you. Yes. Love it. Awesome. Is there anything else we need to do before we get off, Rebecca? Yeah. Let us know. Do you have any last minute questions? We are absolutely well or open to answering those for you. Um, if not, we're going to skedaddle. Skedaddle. We'll skedaddle. We'll be here. Oh, friends, tomorrow is Thursday. Ooh. And if you are a Makers Gonna Learn member and are in the private Facebook group, head on over uh, to our event at 1.30. We are announcing the winner of our September Craft Challenge winner who will get a $50 Amazon gift card. And we're talking about the October Craft Challenge, which is a fun and colorful one. Well, mine's colorful. Yours doesn't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> Yours could be anything yes. you want, really. Yes. But anyway, we'll issue, uh, give you all the criteria for that. So Can Beckett we... and Fallon enter the competition after today, after tonight? Aren't you making a craft with them tonight? I, yeah, I they am. Could enter in the competition? Absolutely. Absolutely. You could bring pictures of I their could. entries. Yes. I could. It's you have be to be a member to enter, so I don't know. Yeah. Families of uh, employees might not be able to. Well, see. I can. We could just share them. Share them. Yeah. Yes. Or we could buy them a membership. But we're <laughs> <laughs> Any type of glitter size. That's a great question, Cheryl. So um, Courtney has yeah. tried both, and I don't know if it's the method. If you could use the fine glitter with the new the method, new method. I don't I'm know. Gonna try it. Yeah, we'll but let you know. The chunky mix has been the best for me so far. Yep. Now you're just super glittery. Um, are those 12 ounce tumblers? Do you know? Oh, uh, maybe it says on here. Okay. It definitely says on the listing. I don't think they're eight. I think they're 12. I think they're 12. Yeah. Yeah. They don't look more than 12, 10 or 12, but I don't think that things are normally 10. So no, they're probably yeah. 12. Yeah. They're a pretty good size. Anyway, it looks like we've answered all the questions. Yay. Do you like the glitter in the squirt bottle better? Will you do it that way in the future? Yes. To, to be determined. I think yes. The, there would be more cleaning. If you wanted to switch out your colors more, this might be... But you could just wash it out. Yeah. But there might be more waste because, like, I didn't know how yes. much... Yes. But if you're doing a giant batch... I mean, there's a lot of factors to yeah. decide which method that you want to do. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Because there's, like, no waste at this. And I love that I could keep the extra glycerin in there for another project. So... Yeah. Absolutely. Fantastic question. I think that is it. Thank you all for watching. This has been so fun. Yes. I hope I'll see you on another live really soon. Yeah. We'll see you guys later. All right. Bye.